Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You are back with Mystery Meerkat, and once again today we are playing some more um, of Survive the Nights. Now, in the last episode I got extremely salty about the fact that um, they made some inherent changes in the... Reasons not enough calories, whatever. Um, they made some, like, massive changes in the way that the game plays. Um, the zombies, for example, seem to be a lot harder um, to kill. Um, in the last episode, if you watched it, um, you will have seen me shoot a zombie in the face with a shotgun. For then the zombie to kill me after I'd shot it in the face with a shotgun. Um, now, I understand... Oh, shit, there's a big guy. Run! Yeah, we don't like this guy. This guy is really, really hard to kill. Um... So, I, I sort of get that it is a survival game, and I, and I, you know, I do appreciate that they do need to make it half decent, half difficult, right? I get that completely. But see, now that one went down really easy. But I think some of the zombies they're making too hard for early game, um, especially. Um, now they've taken the axe away. For example, um, from you at the start of the game, um, it, it makes it really difficult to to actually get started and not die, uh, basically, is what I found in the last episode. Now, I'm going to try a little bit harder this time. Um, it may very well be me um, in the last episode. Might have just been me getting over overly sort of excited slash frustrated. Ooh, combat knife. Take that. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, guys. It, it may well have been my terrible gameplay. Um, you do see a lot of that on my channel, so I should have just called myself Noobish Gamer, but there we go. Um, so let's have a look. Is there anything in here that's uh, worth taking? I'm, I'm really hoping that we find a weapon early on-ish, because I would really like to get a gun going. And here we go. Uh, what's this? Shotgun. Oh, no, it's Clinchester. Take that any day of the week. Um, now, the only problem is... Oh, military rations as well. Sweet. The only problem is with the Clinchester is it's really difficult to find a random hammer. Um, the ammo for it. So, that's going to be interesting to see if we can find any. Now, before we leave this house, I am going to eat those rations... There we go. Um, pretty much all we've got. We've only got two out of six bullets in the Clinchester. So, that's fine. Um, right, let's get out of here. Right, which way did we come? We came from down the hill. We were going to go in that house, but big guy's over there. I wonder if we could take him out of the Clinchester, actually. Where's my Clinchester? There we go. I'll take him down in one. Wow, the Clin Clinchester's like MVP material. Right. Okay, let's get this house searched. That guy didn't last very long. Oh, well, this looks nice. They've changed this around a lot. It looks so much better. Uh, ravioli. Yeah, why not? Water bottle clean. Nice. I don't think there's any water in it. Maybe we can get some for it. Oh, no. No, it does have some in. Maybe we should drink some of that. See what our hydrations are. 88 out of 100. Oh, that's fine. Uh, health 47 of 95. Now I need to find some health goods, uh, some health uh, stuffs to uh, to heal. Uh, we've got a Bateman revolver, Marta soup, angle iron. What the hell's that? Take it anyway. Is it like a Kurt angle iron? That start to. Uh, uh, Putting some hurt on me. Gauze pads, nice. They are useful. This screws. Screw you, buddy. 
Nothing around the computer desk. Kids room. Nice. Toy box. Nothing in the toy box. What's this? Kindle? Kindling Tinder? Right, where are we going? Where are we going? There's a river. I don't really know where the river goes. Let's follow the river. So, so far in today's episode, what we have found out is the Winchester will take out a, um, a zombie in one shot. Which is quite useful. I should really find out which one it is on. The Bateman Revolve is on number one. Um, point, how many... Four out of six got. That's fine. We can work with that for now. I'm imagining it takes 357 ammo. With it being a revolver, I would presume, anyway. I may be wrong on that. Another house down here. Really like to find a map. Wonder, wonder what this billboard says. We always have some ridiculously funny billboards around. Let's have a look. Black Island Coffee solves everything. I don't think it's going to solve a zombie apocalypse. So this appears to be a car crash of some description. Fire barrel. Okay then. I don't think there's anything in here. Ooh. There's a foot locker, but it's got nothing in it. Useful. Coming soon. Okay, let's see what's in these houses. Oh, we got a big guy again. Two shots with the revolver and the guy's down. So we got two for Clinchester, what's number three? That's the combat knife, okay. Now apologies if I still sound a little bunged up guys, and um, I am still recovering ever so slightly from my cold that I, I got off the little man, so apologies for that. What is this? looks like an axe handle. Have we got an axe head already? Doesn't look like it. I just found a first aid kit, which is nice. What's this? Control panel. Okay, we'll take it. Nothing else in here, I don't think. So... Uh, hello, Mr. Zombie. Right, I'll need to heal up now. I've got a first aid kit. I've also got some gauze. Um, gauze pad. So let's use that. So that's that done. Um, I think there's just this house. No, it's just that house over there that we've not been in so far. Um, and then this will tell us Sage Creek, Turtlehead Bay. Surprise I've not been able to find like a bus stop yet. The, the bus stops used to have 
um, maps in them, but they may have been removed. Oh, nice, nice, lovely plant growing through the floor there. That's just what you want in your house. Find another flashlight and an oil pump and some more food that I can't eat. Then I have a can opener, which seems to be like the hardest commodity to find in this game. Uh, nothing in the fridge. I got some tan uh, tinned tuna, canned tuna. Anything in here? Probably not. No. No. No, nothing. Wonderful. So helpful game. Okay. Um. So, of the other changes that I've not mentioned so far, the sharpening stone there. I'll take that. Why not? Um, of the other changes that I mentioned, so like not mentioned so far, um, one of those is that um, basically when you go into your inventory and you go in to use a, something like a drink or something like that, if you look on this side of the screen, um, you'll see that it gives you a chance of what you're going to receive um, or it just tells you exactly what it's going to do. Um, so now I can't I can't eat these because I can't actually open them up yet. But if, if you see as I scroll through them, it tells you the amount of calories that you get for eating each one, hydration chance, the chance of getting sick, etc., etc. Um, so they've added that into the game to make things a little bit easier for people to sort of see what uh, what they want to do. Now what I'm going to try and do is figure out where we are uh, based upon this sign that we have, and hopefully head in the direction of a city of some description so bear with me right so i know exactly where we are on the map now and we're going to sage creek i've decided um which is up a really really windy road so let's get on our way Okay, guys, so we're just coming up to the bridge. Um, Sage Creek's just over there. Just over there, a little bit. So we're just going to go across here. I think that's a building over there, so I might go check that out first. Uh, my aim my aim in this episode is to get to Sage Creek um, for the, ready for the next episode, effectively. And um, I'll probably do one more episode on 0 0.9 patch. Um, now, I could really do with my head torch right now. Headlamp, where is it? There we go. There we are. Um, so yeah, my, my aim is to get to the other place. And then uh, we can go from there in the next episode. Um, I've not really found, found much of any use, uh, guys, if I'm quite frankly honest with you. Um... We've got loads of zombies running up on me. Die. There we go. Checking my health there. Making sure I'm not close to dead. Um, I did have to use my first aid kit earlier on. Um, ooh. Ooh, we've got a map. Should be in here. Come on, give me a map. Press E to log off. You can log off in here now? What? They've changed that. There we go. Now we have a map. Now I can show you where we are, guys. We are currently... Yeah, we've just crossed this... this. Uh... Yeah, I'm pretty sure. We've just crossed this particular thing here. Um, and these are the, the like rocks that you see in front of us. These big things. And you go that way to get up to Sage Creek, which I think is like just up there. I'm not 100% sure on that one, but... These are big containers. Can you open these? I don't think so. Well, I've also figured out that if you can get headshots on the zombies, it takes three good stabs. 
to uh, to take them out. So that's news for you all. Now I want to get to Sage Creek as quickly as possible. Um, I can hear someone. Ain't nobody killing me again today. Not having none of that. Right, let's uh, let's have a look at the map. So, I know for a fact that we just crossed this bridge. I'm sure we have. Oh, here we go, another zombie. Come on, die. Now, I'll be very close to dying soon. About 30 out of 95, and I don't believe... That we have any. Might as well drink the uh, energy bottle. We don't have any first aid on us anymore. Um, now we do have the weapons. So let's just get those out. Might as well use these up before I die, right? Is that a zombie? That is indeed a zombie. Are you a zombie too? Oh dear. Oh no! We've got more zombies than I, I like. Right now. Oh, she's proper chasing me. Problem is, I don't think I've got any bullets left for this weapon right now. And I've not got much health left. We're kind of a bit screwed. There is a house down here. But I don't really think it's gonna uh, it's gonna help me at all. Okay, looks like we got away. Literally have no bullets left. Yep, thanks for letting me know. Still got my trusty combat knife, which is probably not going to do anything in these instances. But there we go. But it's, it's been a fun experience, and I'll, uh, I'll most definitely be back to this game at some point. Um, like I say, I'll probably wait for the next patch to come out um, when they've done a bit of balancing. I'd, me personally, I think that the zombies are too strong at the moment and they need toning down to make the game enjoyable. Um, especially if their plan is to make it so that, you know, each game... Ooh, what's this? Uh, antiseptic. Okay. Like that. Um... Especially if they want to make it so that, like, you, you, you know, as the knights, uh, as the name um, suggests, that you have to survive the knights in the game in order to, uh... Is that a gun? What's it doing up there? I can't even get up there. Yeah, we've got it. After many, many tries, we've got the Razor Rig. Now, I don't really know how many uh, bullets it's got. Let's have a look. Seven. Seven out of twelve. Why not? Uh, can't reload it because we've got no ammo. So according to this, I think that the Sage Creek is actually up on there. If I'm right in what I'm thinking, that is. I mean, it does look like there's some houses up there. Maybe I just got completely turned around uh, with relation to which direction we were looking at on the map. Um, because that is towards the sea. There's another bridge down at the bottom there, which means that I am actually on this bridge heading this way at the moment. So Sage Creek's literally just up there, from what I can determine. Whether I'm right or wrong is a different kettle of fish. Let's kill this Mophus. Shot him in the head. He didn't die. 
Why would you kill me with that? <laughs> Did not want to waste the bullets trying to take him out there, so I thought I would just literally take my time. There's another weapon here. Another shotgun. Um, but I can drop the shotgun that I had. Oh no. I'll drop the Bateman. I can pick this up now. No. There's no ammo for this gun in your. I know there's not any ammo for this gun in my bedroom. Pressing the wrong button, obviously. I think he must be in the next room. Fluorescent light bulb. Yeah, we can't carry that right now. Fine. Don't laugh at me. Right, health stuffs. Nothing. Thanks, game. What's this? Chocolate cereal. We can't have the chocolate cereal because our inventory is full. Super cool. Well, it would be really super nice and super helpful if I could find a goddamn can opener. And then I could perhaps eat some of this food that I have stored away. Alright, let's see what we can get rid of. What do we, what do we not need? Um, we can drop the flashlight. We can drop the hammer. Uh, I'm going to drop the watering can. The angle iron. Cardboard? Why do we need cardboard? I suppose we'll keep that. I'm going to drop the oil pump, this control panel, screws, the starter. I just don't think we're going to need them. We're not going to use them. And it's just taking up space that I could really use. So let's take that. Take that. Search in there. What? Oh. Okay. Requires electricity to it. That's a new one on me. Okay, I think we're out of ammo for that as well now. Um, there's not even anything in this room anyway, so that was a complete bust. Oh, lag. Right. Here we go. So this is where we want it to be. Now, I am going to head into the first house that I get to, um, find a bed, and log out, because that is where I am going to end this episode. Now, when we come back next time, um, this is where I will be. This is where I'll start off, and hopefully, it will help me out a great deal, because we're in a city. But as long as I don't spawn in, in the middle of the night, which is always a massive possibility, um, then we should be okay to find some decent stuff and at least get somewhere with this game i think um nothing in here no first aid stuffs no nothing on the floor no nice green beans oh, i don't know why you'd have green beans in your bedroom but all right oh a little teddy bear that's cute Nothing in the nightstand, nothing in the footlocker. This is where I'm going to log off. Now, I know you can create like barriers and stuff for the windows, but I don't really see the point in that scene as I am logging off anyway. If there's anything in here, probably not. I'm always looking on the sides now. What's that? What's another rouser rig, maybe?
Raza Rick, yeah, okay. Uh, let's have a look. So we've got one left in this Rouser rig, and then we've got ten in the other one. So after we've used this one up. There you go, that's an inspection of the weapon there for you. Um, so once we've used this one up, then I'm going to switch to the other one. I might even find somebody just to shoot, just for the sake of it. Why not? Nice lovely pond here. What's this over here? And which is my other Rouser rig on? Alright, so it's on five. Kind of terrible with these guns, I think. Yeah, you don't look so mean now, do you, with your ribs sticking out? Now, I suspect... I was going to say, I suspect that that will bring more. Uh-oh. I don't want to get caught up in a, a fist match with this guy. There we go. Let's see what this is. This looks like a garage of some description. Oh, this is where we can craft stuff. Awesome. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure about the crafting. I've not really looked into the crafting too much. Um, I will do it at some point for you guys, definitely. Um, I've just not really looked into it at the moment. Um, I should really be logging out right now. I just wanted to really see what this what this was. Check out counter. Get power and electricity and everything in here. Um, but there's nothing else in here to actually do. Okay, so you use a siphon to extract the fuel. Fair enough. Alright, guys. So let's go and um, find somewhere to sign off, basically. Go in this house here and sign off. What's this? Compass. Nice. There we go. My map's showing us where we are, finally. Is there another, another rouser rig on top of the fridge? They like to do this a lot, apparently. There we go. No first aid items again? Nope, nothing. And this looks. Dirty pot, we'll take that. And we might as well log out. So anyway, guys, if you have indeed enjoyed this episode, please do leave a like. Um, any comments that you have, leave them in the comments section down below. And as always, I will certainly respond to them for you. Um, I really don't want to have to deal with the zombie before we leave. But it looks like I may have to. Um... Die! Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, I should have just logged out. Um, anyway, guys. 
as you can tell, the last couple of episodes for me haven't been the best. Um, I died a lot in that last episode, and in this particular episode, um, obviously I've died again. Now, I didn't die a numerous amount of times in this one, um, but there we go. Uh, so lastly, if it's the first time that you've ever visited the channel, um, please do subscribe. It helps me out tremendously. It just lets me know that I'm making decent content for you, and uh, yeah, just, just lets me know to continue making it, I guess. Uh, this is only a hobby to me. Um, I don't get paid anything to do what I do. Um, I just enjoy doing it and making content for you guys and I hope that shows um, in the way it's edited and, and comes across to you guys, I guess. Anyway, with that being said, until the next episode, peace out.